Happy Friday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News update. Police say a man is dead after drowning in the Bellagio Fountains. It happened around 10 o'clock this morning. Officers say that man is believed to be between 40 and 50 years old and that he jumped into the fountain. Witnesses dialed 911 and also tried to rescue that man when they noticed him struggling. Nevada has approved up to $950 million in bonds for a high-speed rail project. That funding will help build a 170-mile high-speed rail connecting Las Vegas to Victorville, California. State officials say they see the additional financing as a way to aid in Nevada's long-term economic recovery. No taxpayer money is being used for this project. Construction is set to begin this fall and to be completed in 2023. The state's unemployment agency says it has paid out 90% of claims ending in the week of July 11th. However, more than 23,000 claims are still pending. Dieter says the state has a little over five weeks worth of money left in its trust fund for unemployment. But the agency says don't worry, all of the claims will continue to get paid. I'm meteorologist Gina Cancellari. We have a nice night in store and a nice day tomorrow. In fact, a nice weekend. Here's a look at the forecast moving through the next couple of hours. 101 at 4 o'clock, moving into 8 o'clock, 96 degrees. Overnight tonight, bottoming out at 80 degrees. Then heading into your morning tomorrow, 8 a.m., 86 degrees with a good deal of sunshine. By noon, only 97 degrees to then reach our high temperature of 104 for your Saturday. Getting hotter then as we move into Sunday and Monday. High temperature on Tuesday, 108 degrees with a low of 85 degrees and we just keep heating up from there. Thursday's high temperature 109. Ross? Gina, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend.